Yes, thank you, Jesus. This song is for Terrence Bailey. Hush, hush, somebody's calling my name. Hush, hush, somebody's calling my name. Hush, hush, somebody's calling my name. Oh, my Lord.
But they can accept his goodness. They can accept his mercy. They can accept his grace. They can accept his peace. They can accept his comfort. They can accept the promise that he had made unto us. This morning, we are privileged to be here to say, Our oh, Father. We bless the name of Jesus this morning. We glorify him. Because without him, we would be lost. Without him, we could not be here this morning. Just think of the goodness of Jesus this morning. Oh God, how oh many of us this morning could be home and can't move? Just think of the goodness of Jesus. Look at Jesus, how good he is. His mercy endured forever. Because of his goodness this morning, we are here to honor him, to give him the glory, to exalt his name above everything. Because he's Jesus, he's Christ, he's the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He's our heavenly, and we thank him today. We bless his name. We bless his name. We glorify his name. Brethren, let us, let us reach, reach out. I give God thanks this morning. We are thankful to God. 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 We are thankful to We are thankful to God. We are thankful to God. We are God. We God. We are thankful to God. We are God. God, there is no other name above your name. So we love you this morning and we thank you. Lord Jesus, touch everyone everywhere this morning. Oh God, in every need, every area of their lives, reach out to Jesus this morning. He's able to deliver. He is able to deliver. God bless you this morning. Good morning, everyone. It's so good to be here worshiping with you all. Hope you're having a great day. This morning's lesson is taken from Acts chapter 4, verses 5 to 13. And it came to pass on the next day that their rulers, elders, and scribes, as well as Annas, the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the family of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, by what power or by, by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers of the people and elders of Israel. If we this day are judged for a good deed done to a helpless man, by what means he hath made wealth. Let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him, this man stands here before you hold. This is the stone which was rejected by the builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven which we must be saved. Thirteen and last. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. Here and at the reading of the word, we'll honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Good morning, everyone. Present, good morning. I want to welcome each and every one of you to today's service in this nice weather. We're all enjoying. Welcome, welcome. We want to welcome those of you worshiping with us for the first time, and especially those of you who are online. On behalf of our Bishop, Dr. Clayton Wisdom, our first lady, Sister Tamara Wisdom, and all the members here, welcome. I pray you have a wonderful day in today's service. Here are your announcements. Tomorrow, Monday at 7.30 p.m. on site and live streaming, we'll have Bible studies. Again, you can come here to the church and um, enjoy our Bible studies, or you can watch us online. On Thursday, we'll have noonday prayer and fasting from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. You can come on site to um, fast with us, or if you're at work or home, fast along with us, please. For free COVID-19 vaccine, please go online and register at cbspharmacyminuteclinic.com. Again, that's cbspharmacyminuteclinic.com. Our prayer breakfast, our annual prayer breakfast will be on February 26, 2022, under the stars or under the skies at 9 a.m. And it's the theme is Miracles Still Do Happen. And our guest speaker will be Reverend Diane Lewis. Please see um, a, a lady for a ticket to come and support the, the prayer breakfast. And trusting in the miracle of power of God. And that's Saturday, February 26, 2022, 9 a.m. And we'll have seating outside and you'll have a nice breakfast to go. The Children's Church um, Department is taking the registration, so if you'd like to register your child for Children's Church or the Children's Church Choir, we have forms available and they're located. There's a table set up for you in the old sanctuary. You can stop by and get a form to fill out for your child to register for the new year for Children's Church or the Children's Church Choir. On behalf of the Youth Department, we want to thank everyone who came out and supported the Reset Open House yesterday. Despite the weather, the fellowship and cooperation was very good. We'll continue to pray for the each department as we move forward in 2022. And again, that's the Youth Department thanking those of you who braved the weather and came out yesterday for our, um, to support the Reset Open House. So we ask that you continue to follow us on Facebook at The Central New Testament Church, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is CNTCOG Church, and the church website, which is cntcogchurch.org. We ask that you continue to pray, especially for those who are sick, those who are unemployed in our nation. I pray you continue to have a wonderful day. The Lord God bless you. Good morning, church. Good morning. God is a wonderful God. He is a great God. And He's a God of deliverance. The scripture I was reading this morning, I stand there and I shake my head. And he said, My God. He talks about the cornerstone. But there's something in my mind that I was praying. And it comes to me. He said, The foundation that God at lay out, there is nothing can build without the foundation. The foundation is the strongest part of the house. Then it comes the cornerstone. This man I want to say the person who speak, speak that scripture is heading in the right direction. God is talking to that person. Because this time we need no one but God. The cornerstone and the foundation. Eternal God, most righteous one. We honor you. Oh God, we adore you this morning. You have paved the way for us. You have set the foundation, God, that we must continue building on. This morning, God Almighty, as your children are about to bring in their tithes and their offering, God Almighty, only you, God, have given us the strength have given us, God Almighty, the work that we can bring it forth to you, God Almighty. God Almighty, I ask of you to bless it, God. Increase it, God Almighty, for your work, God Almighty. You say in your words, God Almighty, 
Whatsoever you start, God Almighty, you will finish it. I ask upon you, God Almighty, to continue to hold us into your hand, God Almighty. Talk to our bishop, God Almighty. Mm. Cover his wife, God Almighty, his children, under your blood. Continue to God Almighty. God, I ask upon you to guide us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus. I was going to sing a song, but this one, as brother, um, as the brother was praying for Bishop and his family, this song coming to my I'm just going to sing it. Nothing good have I done to
so excited to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. I was away for two weeks. He got thunder, that he brought me back safe. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad to see you all. Amen. It's a special time right now. Trying in prayer for those that are sick yes. and those that lost relatives. I have dear the loved one family who lost family member, Brother Williams, that is sick, Ethan Morgan, and our home, Sister Tamar Wisdom, our first lady. At this time, we have a part to me. You can stand up. Stand up. If you cannot stand, you just sit in your heart. The Bible said the prayer of faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'll say the same. I was in Jamaica and this thing hit me hard. You didn't say the prayer of the deacon. No, sir. The prayer of the bishop. Or the prayer of the pastor. Word of God said, the prayer of faith. So no matter who you are, if you pray, faith believing, things will happen. I love you, God. <laughs> yes, sir. So I want you to join in prayer right now. As we pray. And remember what I said, as we pray. So I'm going to pray openly, but you can pray where you are. It's time to pray. We have some urgent need that we need God to move. We need miracle from God. For he is a miracle working God. I can tell you that he is a miracle working God. So let us pray. God of Abraham. Hallelujah. 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 God of Abraham. God of Jacob. God of Isaac. Jehovah God, creator and maker of all mankind. We come to you now. We come to you. The brother said, I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour of God, we need you. Now we come. Your word declare we should look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help cometh from you, God, and no other. So we come humble. Remember those that lost loved ones. Comfort them. Those that are sick, Deacon Mama, and our widows, our pastor wife. Oh God, you said we must look to the hills. For whence cometh our head? You declare your word by your stripes. We are healed. Hallelujah. So upon the authority. Of your word, we pray and we have some real God that thou will touch your children wherever far they may be and give deliverance. Miracle from you, God. In the name of Jesus, we come against every sicknesses, every disease. In the name of Jesus, I pray God that you will lay your hands upon your children. Touch them, no matter what it is, Lord, from the crown of the head to the very sole of the feet. I pray, oh God, that you will touch, touch and deliver. Hey God, we come to you, we come to you. 
God will pray that every symptom, every disease may be dried up in the name of Jesus. We come to you, God, that thou will lead us, you will guide us, you will give miracle, give healing and deliverance to your children. So we pray now and we ask it. And we believe it by faith that miracle, miracles will take place according to your word. We say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen.
Aleluya. 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 There is something about the name of Jesus. Something. Oh, there is something special about the name of Jesus. I want to give God thanks for his loving kindness and his mercies to us. As for me, I have to give him thanks. I remember last year I died twice when I came back. Hallelujah! I want to give a bishop, bishop of the wisdom, the first lady's wife, she's not here, and the family. All the ministers that are here and your wives, my beautiful wife of 58 years, I'm broken down there. Still love her in my heart. Hallelujah! To our deacons and your families, our musicians, choir, all my brothers and my sisters were there. And those in Red Line, greetings. Uh, Sister Brenna sing a song here, Roll by the Curtains, Miranda. You know, when I think of Jesus and his goodness and his mercies, we can't, cannot be compared to nothing at all. This scripture I read early on, and I'm glad for today, Mission Day. I believe in mission. Amen. In the book of Acts 4, I'm not going to the word thing, but from the verse 10, be it known unto you all, to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom he crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him do it, this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which did. This is the stone which was set up in not a few builders, which is they come here to the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name on heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. They marveled. We are in perilous time. A very dangerous time. Paul said that in Second Timothy 3, the perilous time will come. But perilous times are here. Hallelujah. Right here. Perilous times here. In the Matthew 24, the Bible said the disciples, when Jesus came in the temple, I oh, want 50 minutes, I remember that. 50, oh, 50 minutes, I'll be done. Oh. The disciples asked him, the Lord, when shall these things be and what shall be the signs of the coming? And the end of the world. Jesus showed them. And when you have wars and rumors of wars, yes, nation against nations, king against kingdom, earthquakes, pestilence, all places, if you have a time when there are wars and rumors of war, it's now, it's time to run to Jesus. Only source we have, and that Jesus' blood is a remedy. Only Jesus' blood can save and deliver from sin. Yes. Don't care what other name. 
You could be the you could be the royal family name. No black man name, white man name, rich man name, poor man name, no other name than the name of Jesus. I like what So we say when they saw Peter and John and the boldness of these men, they got knowledge. But these men had been with Jesus. Every child of God, somebody must know who had been with Jesus. You can't be the same. Amen. There must be a change in your life. If you are thief, you stop thief. If you are a liar, you stop lying. I don't tell you something about adultery. You understand me? We are in trying time, perilous time, blind time, wicked time. Some of you people tell some children today, taking your own lives. Little boys and girls, because of the blindness, wickedness, even your own parents. When you look and see that a father can go to bed with their son and their daughter a perilous time. Some of us are too cute and too pretty. We can't preach that thing like this. But the Bible says in Proverbs 14, 24, you understand that? That sin is a reproach every people but righteousness nation and the way that sin is dead but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord I don't know what I want to say but we are in perilous time Amos 8 11 12 of that time we're going to have famine in the land famine not part of the bread and water, but for the words of God, it's time to run to Jesus and surrender to Him. It's later than you think it is. We are in perilous time. Bible said in Hebrews 9 and 7. It's a point here that man wants to die. But after death comes judgment. There is no repentance in the grave. You better see not. You live a sinner, you dead a sinner. Amen. Come on. I'm going to wait until when you get your burial. Everybody's going to have it. By this time, he's in Jesus' arm. Where's Jesus' arm? No elbow and sinner can in Jesus' arm. No you have to burn again. Wash in Jesus' blood. Cleanse. Satisfy. God is the person of person with God. God, because he used King's son, your special the God's privilege. With privilege. No. Sin is sin. And a son. And all the of God's standard of living for his people. But God understand. You know God understand. Of course God understand. That must live from sin. But at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So there is salvation in no other name. But Jesus name, Jesus name so sweet. Woo! Hallelujah. When I think of the good of Jesus, what you have done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank God for saving me. Hey, hallelujah. He saved me, delivered me, we went to glory. In Hebrews 2, 3, the Bible said, how can we escape if he neglect so great a salvation? We are going to run to your can't escape. We will run too. Huh? My God, where? The Fenaya 114 man say, you don't know me, but I will hear Big man, you go and cry. King man, you cry. If I say Fenaya 114 say, 
you're going to cry bitterly. Revelation 6, 17 says, how shall he stand? Huh? Acts 17, 31, the Bible said, but, but, but what did Peter say? That God had paid a time and it was all to stand for the judgment of God. Revelation 20, then 2, 12. God said, I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, which dead poor dead. Hallelujah. When your brother, when Nicodemus heard about Jesus, he came to Jesus to find out what uh, Jesus. No man can do these things except God. But Jesus said to the victim, you must be born again. No man but heaven. You have to be second birth. You need a second birth. You could have born in the King Palace. Your first birth can't help you. You need a second birth. And that birth come through Jesus Christ. There is in blood. That second birth come through salvation. Titus 2.11, the Bible said, The grace of God that brings salvation appeared to all men. All men. Teaching us to deny ungodliness, worldly lusts, to live soberly, righteously, godly in this present world. Hey, right now, live from sin. Hey,
I want to see you out of heaven. Yes, sir. When Rome is called up yonder. Amen. 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 Verse 11. Bible said, and when many shall bow in the name of Jesus, heaven is, things in heaven, things on earth, in honor and every time to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You got the fathers. You want today, if you're here, you're not saved. Come to Jesus. God bless you. Be good. And unto my God is age, and he come here this morning in this cold morning and preach gospel. Amen. Preach gospel. Amen. Praise God. When his wounded hand touched mine. When his wounded hand touched mine. When his wounded hand touched mine. Touch mine, my Jesus set me free through all eternity. When it's wounded hands, touch mine, when it's wounded hands, touch mine, when it's wounded hands, touch mine.
to let you know that today is wounded hand. Those two hands that was pierced as they hang him on the cross at Calvary. And that, and it is said that the only thing that in heaven that is made by man is those cars in his hands. I want to let you know today that those cars and I hear willing and ready to touch for those of you who are not well today. Now here, I've never had for a long time a, an item called service as unique as this this morning. I call up for prayer. We only have one lady here and she's here with her son. And everybody else is men. We are living in a society that is messed up with men. And when we have men that walk up for prayer, it means a lot. And therefore, we must pray for them and believe God for them. That whatever the reason why they are here, that the Almighty God is able to deliver to the utmost. Those of you who are out there on Facebook, those of you at home in the living room, wherever you are this morning, I want to let you know that God is able to deliver to the utmost. All that you need to do is to trust in him and he will see you through. Bow your heads with me and for those of you who are sitting in your car, those of you who are standing around, how about you joining me and let everybody pray at this time. Let everybody lift up your voice and pray a congregational prayer at this time. Let us all pray. Eternal loving and righteous Father, we come to you today, thou great Jehovah God, the God that sent your son Jesus Christ, born of a virgin Mary, hallelujah, born in a manger, oh glory to God, born that mankind can receive, hallelujah, reconciliation with his God. Mankind have drifted far from you, Lord God. But today, you have allowed us to, that we can come back in your presence today and we can call upon your name. Here we are today in your presence. Oh God, we have this altar call here today. And you're God Almighty. We have men that show up for prayer. Oh God Almighty. Hey, in the name of Jesus. The prison cells are filled with men. Oh God Almighty. Who are incarcerated. Men. Hallelujah. Who are dead beat dead. Men. Who have turned their back against you, Lord. Men who have failed to live the life expected of them. But today, God, all is not lost. Because here we are today with men standing up before you, calling out unto you. We ask in the name of Jesus that you will cover every man under your blood today. Cover the mothers, cover the fathers. Cover the boys and the girls. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remember those who are at home today. Hallelujah. Not being able to come on out. Because of the situation. I pray that you will visit them. In their living room. Visit them. In the workplace. Visit them. Sitting in their car. Visit them. In the prison. Visit them. In the hospital. Visit them. And oh God almighty. And manifest yourself unto them. That they may know. That you are the eternal God. We present them before you right now. Because we know God Almighty that you care. And that's your reward of them that diligently seek you. We pray for reverse, reverse, reverse of sicknesses, oh God Almighty. And set your people free. That they may know that you are eternal God. And that you reign eternally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep your head bowed and keep your eyes closed. Keep on praying. We're going to be anointing this young man. Yeah. Reverend Wright, come on up here, please. We're going to anoint this young man that is here today, not feeling well. Come to some ground. Bring him, bring him up here. We're going to anoint him. Then I'm going to, Sister Brown, Takesha, 
I'm going to be anointing with this olive oil. This is the olive oil that the church bless. Thank you. Okay? And uh, we're going to be anointing him with the oil. Then after I finish anointing him, I'm going to give you the bottle of oil. And then what you're going to do for me is that every morning he's going to school, I want you to anoint him. Even if it's not school time or any time he's going to do his homework or whatever I'm going to do, I want you to put a little bit on him and pray. The prayer of faith is not only when pastor pray, God answer. Even when mommy pray, God answer too. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on up here, young man. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hand upon this young man. God Almighty, the enemy want to take the lives of young men to destroy them. But in the name of Jesus, you are the eternal God. And I pray, God, that you will reverse every attack of the enemy. Oh, God Almighty. I pray right now, God Almighty, that you will cover him under your blood. Oh, God Almighty, surprise the teachers, surprise his friends, that they may know that there is a God in heaven, that there is a God that reigns eternally, that there is a God that heals and delivers, that there is a God that will set free. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I present this young man before you. I present this other brother. I present this mother and his father before you right now. Cover them. Cover them under your blood. Let your name be glorified. And we thank you now in Jesus' name. And Father, this bottle of olive oil that has been bought here for Christian dedication, I pray right now, God, that you will bless it and sanctify it. That when it is being used, God Almighty, wherever and whosoever it is being used on, it will be, oh God, that they are recipient of your blessing. And that they will know that the eternal God, able to heal and to deliver. Bless it now we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Blessed Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Praise God. I want to use the opportunity today, before you leave here today. I want to use the opportunity today. I told you over and over that this church is a unique church. Now, we have not been able to have gone back into our sanctuary. And I want to let you, for those of you out there, know. It's not that we don't have a sanctuary that we can sit in. We have padded pews. We have air conditioned. We have a beautiful sanctuary. We have chandelier that the Lord blessed us with in our sanctuary. But for the safety of our members, we are out here. And on this cold, cold Sunday morning, I, the attendance of those who are here today, I would never, I did not believe that we would have gotten that much people here today, Mr. Brenda. Come on, put your heart. God is a good God. God is a good God. And I want to let you know, for those of you who have had arthritis, for those of you who have back pain, for those of you who have head pain, for those of you that the enemy is attacking your family, I want to let you know this morning that the sacrifice that you have made to put your clothes on and come to church today in this cold weather, God going to bless you. God going to bless you in your going out. And in your coming in, God going to reward you for your faithfulness. Lay on your heart and let man go on the path know that God reigns. Reign eternally. Reverend forever is gone. I was concerned about Reverend Hunter coming to preach. This morning, Reverend Hunter said, can I keep on my heart? I said, keep on your heart, wherever, and go up and preach the word. The man preached like a young man this morning. What a service today. God is on his throne. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And let everybody say, and let everybody say, and let everybody say, Wonderful day and come back tomorrow night for Bible.
Bible studies. We are having great time in Bible study. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm waiting down here at the river waiting I'm sorry, men, please meet your president in the old sanctuary. Very important. He promised not to have a long meeting, but we need the men to meet him here. I'm waiting down here at the river where you come, Lord Jesus. Yes, I am. Thank mm -hmm. you.